Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over this video and all who's watching. So um, I was praying while I was cleaning. I do that a lot. <laughs> and uh, I just pray for all of you today. And I ask the Lord Jesus Christ to be present right now through the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we give you all the praise, all the honor, all the worship, all the glory every single day. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Amen. I posted that this morning, Psalm 150. I just want to read to you out of the book of Genesis, and this is chapter 1, um, starting at verse uh, 26. Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish, over the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. So I was praying, and I felt like an unction. I felt the Holy Spirit prompting me um, to share this with you. Um, right now, um, there's always spiritual warfare going on, right? There's always good against evil, and it is spiritual is of the spirit and not of flesh. A lot of times, though, we get attacked by humans um, because, um, you know, these demonic entities, these devils um, live inside humans. And um, if you've ever had anybody hate you for no reason, that's probably why the Holy Spirit that lives and dwells inside of you as a born again Christian offends those spirits. And um, people can attack you heavily and um, you know, demons work in um, in a hierarchy, just like heaven. There's a hierarchy of um, angelic realm. There's a hierarchy in the demonic realm as well, and they can come against you um, in in groups. They work in groups. So, um, so I just, you know, I want you uh, to know that if you are a born again Christian, that you have power and authority over these things. And um, when I was praying, the Holy Spirit told me to tell you, re to remind you who you are. And that's why I went back to the book of Genesis, because we are formed in the image of God. And you are a child of God. And he protects his children. In Psalm 91, 11, it says that God ordains his angels over us. Amen. Um, read Psalm 91. It's a very powerful psalm. And um, also, I plead the blood of Jesus over you and your family. Amen. So he wants us to remember our identity. Our identity um, is the inheritance of the kingdom of God. And Jesus died on the cross and he tore the veil. He tore his body. He rendered himself as a sacrificial lamb right here on the cross. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. So he tore the veil. He tore the veil in the temple because only the high priest could go beyond that, beyond that veil. Um, so he tore that veil, which allowed us through his grace and mercy to go directly to the throne of God, to God's uh, throne of mercy and grace. Thank you, Jesus. And the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit lives and dwells in us. So we are, are heirs to the kingdom of heaven. And he wanted me to remind you that even though you may be in this battle, that he hasn't left you. Um, he has never forsaken you, not once. Um, the Bible says that, I, he says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And I believe it's over three, well, at least 365 times in the Bible, um, it says, do not fear. So he doesn't want us to have fear. Second Timothy 1, 7 says, God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of strength, love, and a sound mind. Amen. So he wanted me to remind you, sons and daughters of the Most High God, that you are his. There's power and authority in his word. Amen. If you look up Ephesians 6, it talks about the armor of God and our sword being the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. 
And uh, if you remember, when Jesus was tempted in the desert, uh, 40 days, he defeated Satan with the word of God. Amen. And he was weak and he was being tested and tried, but he defeated him over and over and over with the word of God. There's power in the word of God. This word is alive and you can use it as your sword. So the Lord, the Holy Spirit was saying, remind them who they are. Remind them who they are. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. That's so powerful because the enemy wants to remind you of your past. He wants to remind you of your sin. But you know what? When we repent of our sin, Jesus Christ forgets it from the east to the west. He remembers it no more. It's the devil who is a liar. The devil likes to remind us of our sin and of our past, but we're no longer that person. Once we submit to God, James 5 and 7 says, Submit to God, resist the devil, and he must flee from you in the name, power, and authority of Jesus Christ and by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. I just feel the Holy Spirit. I get excited because the, I feel the Holy Spirit inside of me. Um, and I did ask just Holy Spirit, Put the words in my mouth that you want me to say because I'm nobody. I'm just, you know, I'm trying to try my best as a Christian. You know, um, we're flesh and we're spirit and, and the spirit is, is strong. But when we submit to God and we resist the devil, you know, God always finds us a way out of temptation and sin. Because if we're, if we're listening, if we're listening with our spiritual ears for the Holy Spirit who lives and dwells inside of us, he will lead us and prompt us into that path of righteousness for God's, uh, for Jesus Christ's namesake. Amen. Um, but I just wanted to speak that word and remind you who you are and to not give up, to not give up. I know you're weary. I know you're tired. Um, you may be fighting a battle that nobody knows about. I want you to take it to Jesus. See, it's about relationship with Jesus. It's not about religion. I really wish we would just take off all the labels. It's not about our skin color. He loves us all. We are all one body of Christ. We have many gifts, but the same spirit. The Holy Spirit wants to wants us to work together ecumenically out of love he says love your neighbor love god first and love your neighbor as yourself he loves us but he also wants us to love each other quit judging each other we're not the judge you need to love your brother and sister there's so much judgment and so much condemnation um many times even on my channel i you know i feel like oh lord i can't say anything right because people will attack me and this has been going on for years and um, when I first got on YouTube I got on because I was receiving so much prophetic warning and I just thought oh you know I'll start a YouTube channel and kumbaya everybody will be great oh I got so attacked by Christians and um, it was saddening to me to my heart to my spirit um, but you know we're always going to be attacked by the enemy and the demonic wicked people but, you know, I didn't expect it from Christians. So know who you are in Christ. Know that you have power and authority over the enemy. Luke 10, 19 says that we shall trample the scorpion and the serpent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. But remember, it's his power. It's his authority. It's his name. And every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior on this earth and below this earth. For the glory of God. Amen. Romans 14, 11. So every knee shall bow. Amen. So everything has to submit to him, right? So there's power and authority in that. There's power and authority in the name of Jesus Christ. But remember in Daniel 12, 1, it says Michael stood and at that time he uh, cast Satan out of heaven. But remember that even Archangel Michael knew to fight with the power and authority given to him by Jesus. Amen. So we have to be in alignment with that name, with Jesus's name, with his power, with his authority and with his blood. And the Lord just wanted me to remind you who you are and you are so loved. You know, I find these hearts everywhere and I see them in the sky and, you know, and I, and I pick up little rocks that are shaped like hearts and it's because he loves us. And he wants me to share that love with you today to remember who you are your identity is in him and to not let the enemy remind you of your past because once you repent of it, it's done, it's finished, it's forgotten. Shut the door to your past 
and seal it with the blood of Jesus and move on. We have to finish the race strong, brothers and sisters in Christ. And he loves you. He loves you so much. It says God is the father of heavenly lights. And I just feel the anointing, um, my hands. Um, God is the father of heavenly lights. He wish, wishes to bless us. You know, it says, even the sparrow who does not reap nor sow, he blesses. So why are we worried about things? Why should we worry? Because worry just troubles us out of our day, out of the blessing that he has for us. Um, you know, it is easy sometimes to our mindset. Um, the Bible says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Have you ever just got into a into a rut and you start to be negative well you can change that by restoring your mind and and standing firm on the promises of god isaiah 55 11 says that god does not put a word out and come back void so go back to the word of god and say well god says i'm beautiful god says i'm formed in his image god says i am the head and not the tail god says i am healed in his name power and authority in the name of jesus amen God says that Jesus came to save the lost, not condemn us, that we are the head and not the tail, that we lend and we never have to borrow because he gives us abundantly and beyond measure overflowing so that we may bless others. Amen. And God loves you. And, and, and he wanted me to remind you that you are loved and cherished by him. And it's about relationship with Jesus. It's about spending time in this secret place and listening to the holy spirit and um it's 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 a love story it's a love story there's no greater love than the love that god gave us his only son to die for us he died for us in a horrible horrific death i've read about the crucifixion and how horrific it was and jesus didn't sin so he didn't he didn't deserve one crossword. He didn't deserve to be lashed or spit upon or to have crowns put in his head or to be stripped of his clothing. I'm sorry. I love Jesus so much that I have to just be real and transparent with you how horrific his death was. And he did it willingly for me and you. So we need to thank him for that. For our sins and our iniquities he put upon his own back he became the sacrificial lamb he became the sacrificial lamb so that we may have freedom and redemption in his blood he um, shed every drop of blood when he died on the cross remember the roman soldier pierced his side and water and blood came out so today if you do not know jesus please Please come to know Jesus. And it's simple. You can just say, Jesus, Jesus, I need you. I'm a sinner and I need you, Father. Would you please live inside of me and, and soften and change my heart and renew me and restore me? Because God is a God of recompense, of reconciliation, of restoration. He told me that one day. He told me those words. And he wants to restore us. He wants to transform us. Just like the, the piece of clay on the potter's wheel. He is the potter and we are the clay. If we submit to him, he transforms us. But he does it out of love. He, you know, God is a just judge. But, but Christians aren't called to God's wrath. But if we submit to him and we allow him to transform us, um, we can bear fruit because as Christians, we're supposed to bear fruit. Um, speaking of the fruit of the Spirit, you know, He is the vine. And um, we are attached to this vine. And we are the branches of His love, of His, of his love. And we are to walk in love. And we're supposed to love each other and encourage each other and lift each other up. And to use the Holy Spirit gifts together. And I just imagine um, us as a tapestry of God's creation knitted together, every color, every race, every creed knitted together in his love, in his image, utilizing and being utilized by him of our Holy Spirit gifts. He doesn't give us all the same gifts. That's why we're supposed to work together um, and encourage each other 
and love each other and accept each other, not condemn each other and put each other down and tear each other up. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I pray this word blesses you today. And I thank Jesus and I thank the Holy Spirit, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I thank you. I pray that you bless who's ever on the other side watching this video. I pray that you put a hedge of uh, protection around their families and send down. Loose your blessings, Father. Loose your healings, Father. From the storehouses of heaven, Father, loose your blessings and bind all evil in your name, power, and authority, Jesus, by your blood. I pray he blesses you today and encourages you that you are his son and daughter and that you walk it out, that you walk out your faith, that you walk it out and you use the gifts he's given you um, to bless him back and to further his kingdom, the kingdom of God. I love you in Christ. Amen.